I got a request to do chapter 6 problem number 11. So in this problem you're saying, um, they're saying that you're often asked to figure out Vmax and Km by doing a line weaver Burke plot and making the graph. But they're commenting in this problem that sometimes the data allows you to not bother with graphing. So here's an example where you actually don't have to go through all the effort of graphing to estimate Vmax and Km. You're given a table of substrate concentrations and the initial velocities measured at those substrate concentrations. And what you can notice is that toward the end of the substrate concentrations used, the initial velocity seems to be maxing out. This isn't always the case with every table of data you get. You have to see if the numbers for velocity are not changing much. And you see that in this problem. Let's look at the last two pieces of data or the last two time points they give us. 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar for your substrate concentration gives you an initial velocity of 139 micropole, micromole per minute. The next substrate concentration used is 1 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. So that's quite a bit more substrate, but look, your velocity doesn't increase that much. You only go to 140 micromole per minute. So this indicates to you that even though you increased your substrate concentration, five-fold increase, You didn't see much of an increase here, so that suggests that you're probably at or very close to your Vmax. So you estimate that this is your Vmax, and the other half of the question is figuring out Km. Remember Km is the substrate concentration at one half Vmax. So you go back to your table and since you've identified 140 as your Vmax, you look at what the substrate concentration is when your velocity is half of Vmax, which is 70 micromole per minute. And when you look on the table and see that, you could see that the substrate concentration at that velocity is 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. So that'll be your Km. And that's a pretty good estimate. Again, the graphing will allow you to give an exact number. But because you see the velocity begin to plateau out toward the end, of your data set, given the fact that you're providing a lot more substrate, but you don't get that much more velocity, that really indicates that you're achieving the plateau of Vmax.